In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how to divide fractions. When dividing fractions, we really want to turn the division problem into a multiplication problem. And we do that by flipping the divisor. It's also called using the reciprocal. And the divisor is the number or the fraction we're dividing by. Then we multiply the fractions and reduce if necessary. In this example, 2 thirds divided by 3 fourths, I want to rewrite that division statement into a multiplication problem. And I start by taking my 2 thirds and rewriting that. Now instead of dividing, we're actually going to multiply. Now here's the tricky part. We need to use the reciprocal of 3 fourths. Now another way of saying that is we need to use the flipped version of 3 fourths. Instead of 3 being the numerator, 3 is now going to be our denominator. And instead of 4 being the denominator, 4 is going to be our numerator. So 4 thirds is the flipped version of 3 fourths, or it's also known as the reciprocal. Now all we need to do is multiply. Numerator times numerator, 2 times 4 is 8. And then denominator times denominator, 3 times 3 is 9. So, 2 thirds divided by 3 fourths equals 8 ninths. Here we have 1 fifth divided by 1 sixth. We need to turn that division problem into a multiplication problem, and we do that by flipping the divisor. The divisor is what we're dividing by. That's 1 sixth in this example. So, I turn into a multiplication problem. I rewrite my 1 fifth. Now instead of dividing, we're going to multiply by the flipped version of 1 6. That's the flipped version of this, or the reciprocal. So instead of the 6 being my denominator, the 6 is going to be my numerator. Instead of the 1 being the numerator, that's going to be my denominator. And now I multiply. And in this example, I see that diagonally, the 1's cancel each other out, so I'm just looking at 6 fifths as my answer. And I can't leave it as an improper fraction, so it's 6 divided by 5. Well, 5 goes into 6 one full time with 1 fifth left over. So my answer to 1 fifth divided by 1 sixth is 1 and 1 fifth. Here's an example. We're taking a whole number and dividing it by a fraction. But you do it the same way. I turn it into a multiplication problem. So I write it as a multiplication problem. This becomes 3 times, and I need the flipped version of 1 over 4, which is 4 over 1. And now I multiply. Well, this 4 over 1 is a fraction, but 3 is not. So I turn that into a fraction by writing a 1 in its denominator. It still means 3. It just is written as a fraction, which enables us to multiply the fractions together. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 1 times 1 is 1. In final form, 12 divided by 1 is 12. That's my final answer. 3 divided by 1 fourth is 12. Here's another example of a whole number divided by a fraction. So 2 divided by 2 fifths would be written as 2 times the reciprocal of two-fifths, or the flipped version. I'm just going to flip that right over, and it becomes 5 over 2. I turn my 2 into a fraction by putting a 1 in the denominator. And now I see that these 2's right here cancel each other out, leaving me 5 over 1 as my answer. And 5 over 1 in final form is just 5. So 2 divided by 2 fifths is 5. The final type of problem we're going to look at is when you have a fraction divided by a whole number. Now this is a little bit tricky, so watch how we can do this. I still need to turn this into a multiplication problem. So I'll start by rewriting my 1 fifth, and I'm going to multiply it by the flipped version of 3. But 3 is a whole number and not a fraction. So in order for me to flip it, I need to write it as a fraction. So that 3 is really 3 over 1. Now I can flip that, that 3 over 1 reciprocal, 
is 1 over 3. I flipped the 3 over 1 and made it 1 over 3. And now I multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 3 is 15. So the answer to 1 fifth divided by 3 is 1 fifteenth. Let's take a look at that again. Here we have 3 sevenths divided by 2. Now that's that whole number we're dividing by, and so we have to make sure that we're looking at the reciprocal of 2, or the flipped version of 2, when it comes time to rewrite it as a multiplication problem. So let's start that. I start with 3 sevenths, and I turn the division problem into a multiplication problem, so it's 3 sevenths times, and now I need the flipped version of 2. I need the reciprocal of 2. Well, 2 isn't a fraction. So in order to get the reciprocal, I need to make it a fraction. Put that over 1. 2 over 1 is still 2, but now it enables me to write the reciprocal or the flipped version. So 3 sevenths times uh, 1 over 2. Now I multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. 7 times 2 is 14. So 3 sevenths divided by 2 is 3 fourteenths. Now, go back and review how to divide those three types of problems. One where you've got a fraction divided by a fraction, a whole number divided by a fraction, and a fraction divided by a whole number. So take a look at those and figure out how to do those. Now, if you're curious as to why dividing fractions looks so different, then take a look at the next video online.